and that that was the kind of catalyst for um, me changing my life and and becoming this sort of Edward 2.0. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the Edward White Audio Thoughts. This is again a little mini series I'm doing called Storytime. Um, just where I talk about various different things and um, things that are happening, things that are on my mind. Um, because one, I can't go out and shoot with other people. Um, and two, it doesn't feel like asking other people sort of for their opinion works at the minute. Um, I don't know why, but I think they've all kind of got their own shit going on. Um, and it's good to like collaborate and, and ask people sort of how they're doing. But I think in terms of how my podcast is, um, I think I kind of want to change that. So yeah, in, in this episode, I wanted to talk about sort of adversity because it feels like we're all going through it. And, um, and it's something that we or will go through at some point in our lives, but it seems like this big block of adversity has just been like dumped on us <laughs> as, a, as a society. Um, and I, I do think, I think adversity is good in the sense that like it really does reveal different individuals. Um, and I've seen it, I've seen it in terms of like how people go about their sort of business lives nowadays. There's the people who have fallen into the branding um, where they've got the solid branding, they, they, they want to help the community, they want to help other individuals, they want to help their customers, they, do you know what I mean? They, they want to push their brand because that's their brand message, it always has been their brand message. And then you get other people who have fallen into the, I've got no money coming in, panic, sales. Um, and I've seen it happen like both on like both ends of the spectrum and, and it's, I mean, to me, there's no right or wrong. I know what's right or wrong for me, and that is I don't ever want to sell. I don't ever intend to sell directly to people. Like, I, I will never push anyone to sell to buy a product. Um, I'll never do discounted stuff. Um, and I've always stood by this, and it's always something that I've always said, that I will do either three or full price, like never, never discounted. And I think... For me, that's what you've got to kind of do. Like, you, I, I think now isn't the time to sort of offer discounts or see how you can how you can try and make that little sale. Um, yeah, it just I, I really do think it's going to be a wake up call for a lot of people. Um, in their, in their sort of personal lives, the way they spend money on cars on holidays on housing on, on going out on food um i think it will really kind of reset a lot of people in terms of how they're how they're spending their money and and what they really need to sort of do um yeah but <clears throat> right okay <laughs> so th th this is gonna be really jumpy because this is this is sort of the kind of concept of, this, of the thingy because I don't have any script. I don't intend to write any script. It's just me talking to the camera, um, making it a podcast episode, and then, yeah, putting making if there is content out there, uh, in there, making micro content. I, when, when, like, in 2018, I was a little bitch. I, <laughs> and I, I can admit it, like I was, uh, I just such a pushover. Um, and I was a pushover in the sense that like, I just wouldn't ever say what I felt was right. And I really do think that like, if you ever want to get anywhere in life, you need to say what's, what you feel is right and stand up for what you think is right. Um, and even if it is wrong, like stand on, stand by your morals and sort of die on your sword um, because yeah, otherwise you'll just, you'll go through life and people will just take the piss and they really will. Like, and it, it, it did take me the sort of, if you've ever listened to any of my older content, you would have known that like, um, my girlfriend of five years cheated on me and that, that was the kind of catalyst for, um, me changing my life and, and becoming this sort of 
Edward 2.0. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for it in the sense that like, I now know what I want. I'm focused, I'm more driven. Um, but I do still get those days where I'm just like, oh, I can't do it anymore. But I, I think my mentality's changed in the sense that I now, I now think a lot more about everything that I do. Um, so whether that's, if I'm feeling down, I'll, I'll notice it a lot more and I'll be so self-aware in the sense that like, it's sometimes hard for me to actually, actually f sort of feel like, be okay with those emotions. And that's the hard thing I'm finding at the minute is like, a lot of people are going through this and a lot of people are, yeah, every, everyone's going through this. So it's, you just kind of got to understand that. And um, one thing I do is just, I, I do various different things, sorry, um, should I say, and involves maybe, this uh, It's going to sound so weird and so like, um, what's the word, hippie bullshit, um, higher level thinking but I like I really do like going outside and just looking up putting in a certain certain type of music um Odyssey is really good for it really sort of melodic um house or electronic sort of music um and just go, going outside and literally just standing outside and looking up at the stars and realizing how small you are in in this life and planet um is quite a humbling humbling thing to do Another thing I do is I try and meditate every day. I try and now mitigate from having to have those off days or bad days. Um, it's obviously been flipped on the head in terms of like coronavirus and now, yeah, everything that's happening and like the economy and stuff like that. Um, so I kind of had to adjust. And, and the ways that I've done that is by making sure that I go out for a walk in the morning with a coffee, try and listen to a podcast episode. Um, and then that way, I I kind of get into a mindset of like, right, it's going to be okay. Um, what I tend to listen to is like Tim Ferriss. Um, he's doing very good, good content at the minute in terms of the coronavirus and, and sort of mental state and things like that. Um, and then that helps me, yeah, get into a right frame, frame of mind and, and just helps me kind of push through. Um, and then another thing that I'm doing is like, I, I would be very stringent before and like, what I'm doing and when. Um, so like I'd know when I'm gonna meet people, I'd know like I'd block out my calendar. Um, I'd know when I'm gonna edit a video, I'd know how long I'm gonna do it for. Say I was gonna shoot this video, I know I was gonna do it for an hour, and then the edit time would be like another hour. So um, that's two hours blocked out of my day. But now it's it's changed in the sense that like my work's dropped dramatically, that I don't need to plan as much. And then also finding, trying to, trying to do stuff uh, that I don't always want to do is, is really hard. And trying to like force myself to do it for two hours is, is a struggle, it's, re it's hard. Um, so yeah, like what I'm sort of doing is like, I'll, so I just had a realization that I'm not recording then, and I hope I am, I'm gonna check. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to invest. That's one thing I need to invest in is a is an external monitor so I can actually see if it's um recording or not. But yeah. Um where was I? Oh yeah, okay. So what I do now, instead of blocking my calendar, I will do the um it's called the tomato timer and it's 25 minutes and you just do a task for 25 minutes. Um anything and and what you'll find or majority of the time what you'll find is that once you start doing that task it will help you kind of get into that motivation and get into that flow state um yeah so like that that for me is is something that i'm, I'm doing differently um <clears throat> what else I'm just reaching out to people. That's the only thing I can do really, is reach out to people, see how they're doing. Um, I'm I'm also building like a community of, of people in Swindon where we're, we're 
helping other businesses. Um, that's on Instagram primarily. Good at support Swindon if you want to go and check it out. Um, yeah, just just helping people. Um, that's that's the kind of default mode that I've gone into is helping people and and then spending more time with Bella. Um, yeah, vlogs are doing well though at the minute. If you if you are if you are, if you're a business, I highly recommend starting a vlog because there's so much attention. There's so much pe so many people are watching stuff and and consuming content at the minute, like really consuming content. Um, and it yeah, it just is working. Like un honestly, would say is if one thing you could do um, is just put your Put the content out, make content, make it authentic, make it real, make it genuine. Um, yeah. But adversity is something that we all go through. Again, this is jumpy. <laughs> but adversity is something that we all go through. Um, and it's something that we, we have to go through. I think otherwise life would just get so stagnant that it would be so boring and we wouldn't ever feel, be able to feel, feel anything really. Um, and I think, I mean, I don't, I don't, I probably am a stoic, but I've never sort of read up on it to, to um, understand what it is. Um, but I, I, I feel that they have, um, they just kind of take a level approach to everything that they do. And um, I think that's what I'm trying to do is like, just, just be okay with everything. It's okay. It's not you can't do anything about it. Um, I know it's shit and it, it is shit, but if you if you go into the default mode of, oh, shit, my life's horrible, I hate it, then that is your default mode. Whereas if you, if you had the perspective of like, right, this is what's happening right now, what can I do about it? Um, what's the likelihood if I do this thing that it will pay dividends or What's the likelihood that, like, the worst thing that can happen? Like, another, the episode that I listened to this morning on Tim Ferriss was um, fear setting. And he talks about, like, set yourself fear in, in the sense that, like, what's the worst that could happen if I do X um, to go traveling or whatever? Will my business decline? Will I lose clients? Will I da 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 da? And then, and then you, you, you set the sort of worst case scenario what you could do to mitigate it and then what the best case scenario could be. And then you've got a written example of like, oh, okay, and you can like visualize it and actually see it. Um, another thing he does, which I, th I find quite cool, and I'm trying to do it at the minute, is fear setting in the sense that like, having a look at your life and really stripping it back in terms of what you need, um, how you live, uh, and, and this could be as simple as, say for example, I've got a coffee machine, um, and that is quite important in my life. That's quite an <laughs> important player in my life. I have about three coffees a day. Um, I really like the coffees, but then I think, what if I could drink instant coffee and, yeah, drink it black instead of having it with milk? So then I've just got the cost of the coffee instead of having to buy the milk and the 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 ground coffee which i have um yeah like th think about that like what little things could you do and how could you like change your life up in terms of what you're buying and what you're spending um i've done it for example in the sense that like i now on my on my energies account um bills account i now have a backlog of I don't know, about two, two or three months worth of, of payment, um, just because I've been paying in a set amount per month and it's gone over the threshold like by quite a, a lot. Um, so I've taken the money down and, and I'm just really watching and really cautious of what I'm using in the house and, and sort of how I'm cooking, how I'm using night energy lights and TV and, and everything that uses um, energy. <clears throat> Another thing I've done is look at what bills you're paying. Um, this 
This is me just planning for the future because I, I do think we're going to go into quite a deep recession. Um, and yeah, look, look at what bills you're paying. Like Virgin Media, try they're they're really they're just dickheads in terms of their customer service and how they they entice you in with one sort of big, oh, welcome to Virgin Media. Here's twenty five pound for a, a contract, and then suddenly after after you're a customer for about four years, it's like now doubled or quadrupled in price, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I just think, look around, shop around, don't be afraid to leave. Um, do this with your mobile, do this with your internet, do this with, with anything that sort of costs you money. Um, look at other other sort of subscription services, if you've got any, like Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything like that, and think, do I really need this? Um, and yeah, look, look at look at how you can, how you can cut back, um, how you can sort of live more humbly. And I, I genuinely don't think people need as much as they think they need. Um, that's just me being, that's my personal opinion, and that's what I think about it. And I think it will sort of come to fruition later down the line, really. Um, yeah, have you got any goals to, uh, any, any goals, any, any sort of ways to deal with adversity in your life and how, how do you sort of do it? Um, I just want to say, if you watch this whole video, I want to, I want to say thank you because, yeah, yeah like I, I make a load of content and, or listen to this podcast, sorry, um, I make a load of content and sometimes it's hard, it's hard in terms of like not getting, getting the likes or not getting the, the engagement or the followers and stuff and like it, 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 it it's hard like to keep producing stuff. So if you did watch this, I just want yeah, I want to say thank you, and I really appreciate you. Because um, yeah, it it means it means a lot like to have people actually watching and following. And um, I'm gonna keep doing it. Don't get me wrong, but it's just sometimes it's hard. Um, yeah, I want to say thank you, and I think we'll end it here. Um, let me know if you want me to talk about anything specifically. I'm gonna try and do these once a week. It's, it's hard, <laughs> but um, yeah, try and do these once a week, put them out every Thursday, let me know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much for listening, thank you very much for watching, goodbye.